Okay, welcome to PreserveSoft video number three. I'm going to get into a little bit more detail for how to use PreserveSoft. When we select a work order here, we, information appears in these two different panes. We talked about viewing the PDF. When we want to add a note, maybe we're at a job site or we're letting our RVM know in the morning or in the evening, hey, I'm going to get this work order done tomorrow, or you have some other pertinent information you need to place in a work order, you click into this uh, add note and you can choose different note types and for a contractor you're going to choose the contractor type note and enter I will have this work order uh, completed uh, today. It automatically time, time stamps it for us or date stamps it so you don't have to tell us. When you click the save button it'll go into the notes. Now to view the notes down in this button we can click through the panes and we can see here that I will enter this note I will have this work order completed today and so we can view that in the office other things available in this pane are the blank PCR we can see uh, the, the assignment of the work order and when it was assigned and how it's moving through process um, and then assets and we'll get into assets here in a minute when we're ready to process the uh, work order this we will hit the sub submit completed work order and then if you need to add more pictures after you've started that process you can always add more pictures here if you want to o upload or need to upload a PDF such as a bid form or an invoice form you click add assets and browse for that particular file and so you, we would add a PDF and we're going to say that this is our bid form and we're going to upload it and then now when we go over to our assets we can see that um, we have uploaded this asset so you can control a lot of things here pictures notes look at the PDF upload assets and then upload the work order um, our properties detail page down here if I'm looking at this particular work order on Boca Siega Avenue in St. Pete. If I click this button here, it sh will show me the uh, history of being at that particular job, and we've not been at this particular job before. So if I go down to a different job here and look at it, this is the amount of times that we've been at the job, and if I click on these things, I can look at past pictures, past assets, maybe past notes, past work orders. So this gives you a really good look into past times that we've been at the job and to get back into the regular queue after that we simply click the grid so this is about this is more about what this pane is what this property details pane is and how to look at the history of the work orders thank you